Hi, I'd like to welcome you to your Camden County College online math course. I'm Professor Friedman. I'll be your instructor for the semester. Hopefully you'll find this to be a good experience. So you're going to need five basic tools to take this online course. One, you're going to need your college email. So you have to sign up for your college email. You're going to access Canvas, which is the Camden County College online platform for online courses. Then the math portion three for our course is in a, a online program called alex.com, A-L-E-K-S.com. All this is in writing in an email that I sent you all through your email account in Canvas. All right, so we got your Canvas email, plus there's links to all my handouts and Alex. So we got Canvas. The math program we're going to use is alex.com. Then I have math videos. You're going to have a link to those videos. I made the videos myself. They're not book videos. I tried to keep them as short as I could. 10 minutes, maybe some are 20 minutes. If it's a little longer, you can pause them. Hopefully it'll be really helpful. You should watch them before you do the homework. So we have your Canvas email. We have alex.com. We have the videos. And then I have a class homework page. A link to that. I have my own website at mathpower.com where you will find your assignment links. It's a 15 week course so you're going to have your homework guide. You're going to see week one and it's going to say for instance do assignments in Alex. There'll be a link one two and three. Then take a quiz in Alex. There will also be links to the videos for that week. So it's a good guide. So again, just to summarize, you got your college email, you got alex.com, you have Canvas, you have my website, which is the link to all your assignments, and then you have my videos. To explain homework, homework is set at unlimited attempts, which means you can do it over and over and over until the due date. There is a due date. You have to get it done by that due date. If you don't, you have a week. If you don't, the assignment will close. It won't be reopened. So the whole idea is to keep up with it. An online course is more difficult because you have to keep up with it and then you'll be fine. Algebra is a cumulative course. You have to be able to understand what we did in assignments one, two, and three in order to do assignment six. So if you keep up with it, you're going to find it easy. So the homework set at unlimited attempts, there's tabs on the right. You're going to do a problem. You don't understand it. You're going to click on, give me the solution. I need the guided solution. It's going to show you how to do the problem step by step. Then you click, give me another. You try it again, look at the solution. You can click, give me another. If you're still having trouble, I would go back to the videos, watch the videos. Then when you're doing to homework, you have to learn to hit save. It's kind of like saving a Word document. If there's 20 homework problems, I wouldn't want to do 10 problems. A friend comes in, you talk to your friend and you're timed out. You want to make sure if there's so many problems, hit save. You don't have to do them all in one sitting. You can do eight problems, hit save. The next day, you can come on and do three problems, hit save. You know, you can do them. You don't have to do them all in one day. Quizzes and tests are set at two attempts. They're timed and you have two attempts within that time period. Once you start, you have to finish. Um, let's see your grades. 20% is homework. 20% is quizzes. That's 40%. 60% is tests. So I think you have enough information to get started. If you have any questions at all, email me. I wish you the best of luck. Bye.